Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Shapeshift quietly delist Monero privacy coin, and the U.S. government agencies have taken aim at Monero. Now users of the privacy coin have one last place to buy it. And I would expect this to be the new beginning of the new norm of removing the privacy coins as they began to use the CBDCs and the stable coins. So if you hold those, you may want to consider your options before they start coming for them. In the next article, we have the next evolution with Stellar and Block Damon. And Stellar is entering a period of growth with a number of significant protocol upgrades well underway. Block Damon has a long-standing relationship with Stellar as one of the first protocols we supported back in 2018. In 2019, Block Damon received a grant from the Stellar Development Foundation, SDF, which is the nonprofit that supports the ongoing support for the growth and development of the decentralized and open source network. On the next article, we have XRP remittance at the heart of Ripple Q3 market report. Ripple has purchased 45.5 million USD worth of XRP tokens to support its new XRP remittance service line of credit. The line of credit allows Ripple's clients to borrow funds in XRP quicker and easier than traditional alternatives. With the line of credit, Ripple is seeking to increase financing efficiency as well as bolster its XRP remittance services. Now, Ripple purchases tens of millions of dollars worth of XRP to support their new XRP remitted service. And that is the statement from Q3 as they again purchased the 45.5 million USD worth of XRP. On the next article, we have financial experts say the shift from cash to real-time payments to RTP in Asia has accelerated. But the real challenge will be connecting those infrastructures across borders. So RTPs are a critical element of nation building in the region, in particular around increased digital and financial inclusion. India is a global leader in RTPs with 41 million transactions per day, closely followed by China. So while domestic RTP systems are growing across almost all Asian countries, the cross-border Payments remain a challenge, and that is something that Ripple is focused on the enterprise institutional wholesale level, whereas we see that on the unbanked, underbanked, and the retail side tends to lean more to Stellar. On the next article, we have over 400 million Indians can now send money via WhatsApp. So people can safely send money to a family member or share the cost of goods from a distance without having to exchange cash. And in 2018, the Facebook-owned company had started testing its UPI-based payment service in India, which allows users to utilize the messaging platform to send and receive money. The testing was limited to about a million users as it waited for regulatory approvals to come in, but... The NPCI, which runs the Unified Payments Interface, UPI, used for real-time payments, RTP, between peers or at merchants and while making purchases, allowed WhatsApp to start its payment service in the country in a graded manner, starting with a maximum grade user base of 20 million in UPI. So starting today, people across India will be able to send money through WhatsApp. The secure payments experience makes transferring money just as easy as sending a message. People can safely send money to a family member or share the cost of goods from a distance without having to exchange cash in person or going to a local bank. WhatsApp said in a blog post and again too if we look back on the uh, Facebook's digital currency that they're trying to come out and release and get approved called Libra that is what helps speed up all of these assets to where we are today as stated in the industry that it moved it three years ahead of time the original plan for the Facebook Libra Um, digital currency slash stable coin was intended to be based off of the stronghold as we've shared even as far back as last year which again is based on stellar the next article ripple sharpening focus on dynamic payments across europe and southeast asia expanding xrp investment and their development arm so ripple's slew of 
open job positions hence at San Francisco startups interest in expanding its business in Europe and Southeast Asia. And I think a lot of that is coming because they were stating that if they couldn't get regulations in the U.S., they were looking to leave for those locations. So the company is currently advertising an open position for the managing director for RippleNet Europe. Ripple is sharpening its focus on the dynamic payments landscape across Europe, and we are looking for an executive reporting director to the GM of RippleNet to help lead efforts in the region and support our fast-growing team in London. So the company hopes that whoever fills the position will help generate a pipeline of the fastest growing customers in the region, as well as work with governments in the region. So in the next and final article of this video, we have Does Trump Know Blockchain is nominating him for president in 2020, written by Forbes, and this was released on May 19 of 2020. So blockchain tech just helped Utah and Arizona select the delegates who will nominate President Donald Trump for his re-election bid in 2020 at the Quadrennial National Convention in August. So West Virginia used the same company to count the votes of military service members based overseas for the 2018 midterm elections. However, West Virginia declined to use the same company this year based on a report from MIT showing how votes could be altered and privacy violated. So Ronna Romney McDaniel, chair of the Republican National Committee, has made it clear today that there will not be a virtual national convention in August. So a similar message that has been relayed over the last week, making the decision to use a controversial voting application academic, the votes the company has blasted back at the report issued by MIT claiming it is false. The fact that this technology is playing a role in determining which delegates go to the convention highlights how the Trump administration has generally been silent on a technology that the rest of the world has been embracing. So China's President Xi Jinping has stated blockchain is 10 times as important as the internet. And the country recently formed a foundation for infrastructure of blockchain technology. And the blockchain service network is an open source protocol to provide a national network for blockchain as a service, also known as the BAS, the B-A-A-S. So Trump has commented on Bitcoin and Facebook's Libra project on Twitter last year. However, his focus took aim at cryptocurrencies only, claiming their value was contrived out of thin air. And however, blockchain, the technology underlying Bitcoin, has largely become transformed over the last decade into enterprise applications due to its strong security as well as its transparency. And again, if words mean things, cryptocurrency is more connected to Bitcoin, where hybrids and digital assets are more connected to Ripple, Stellar, Zenfin, etc. MIT News in February noted two main issues with the voting application used. The report uncovered security vulnerabilities in a mobile voting application that was used during the 2018 midterm elections in West Virginia. Their security analysis pinpoints a number of weaknesses, including the opportunity for hackers to alter, stop, or expose how an individual has voted. So in addition, the report described privacy issues, noting the researchers found that votes use of a third-party vendor for voter ID and verification process poses potential privacy issues for users. So then you have before making their findings public, the MIT researchers reached out to the Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity, and Infrastructure Agency, the CISA. Daniel Weitzner, a principal research scientist at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab, the CSAIL, stated, We cannot experiment on our democracy. The consensus of security experts is that running a secure election over the Internet is not possible today. So Votes is a Boston-based mobile voting platform. Blockchain tech, when used for financial transactions like Bitcoin, cannot be totally anonymous, rendering the term pseudonymous. However, when used in voting with the Votes application, the identity of the voter is doubly anonymized, first by the smartphone and second by the blockchain server network. Votes disputes the findings in the MIT report while the technology encoding used is not made public and votes used a permissioned blockchain called Hyperledger, a protocol developed with the strong support of IBM. And Hyperledger is known for strong privacy policies and is used across many private enterprises as well. And again, we like 
IBM and Hyperledger as they connect directly back to Stellar. So more than 1,100 delegates voted using the Votes app on May 9 in Arizona with a nearly even split of voters using iPhones 58.3% and Androids at 41.7%. So Votes blockchain ledger is distributed across multiple geographically separated servers. And these servers are called verifiers. So because of their functionality is to verify the authenticity of the blocks, i.e. collection of votes containing anonymous votes before they are added to the blockchain. So once a block is verified and added to the collection of previous blocks, the blockchain, the votes are copied to each verifying server and cannot be changed. So using blockchain for trust and exercising the most fundamental rights of our country is a very positive thing for those that believe and understand how the technology creates trust. However, with the belief of the industry in this new technology, there is the court of public opinion that will ultimately judge its capabilities on the national stage. All right, guys, remember, this is not financial advice. It is entertainment purposes only. Please hit that like and subscribe. And if you can, share these videos. It helps the channel a lot. I'm going to leave you with a final thought. Success doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. Much love. We'll catch you in the next one.